Hello everyone, my name is Ariana and today we will be learning about conjunctions. We will be learning about the three most common conjunctions, not including coordinating, correlative, or subordinating conjunctions as this is a lesson more focused for the K through a second grade levels. This presentation also includes exercises that meet the common core standards for K through second grade levels. So let's get started. What is a conjunction? A conjunction is defined as words that link other words, phrases, or clauses together. The three conjunctions we will be learning about today are and, but, or. Without conjunctions, your sentences would be short and simple. For example, I like cooking, I like to eat, I like playing outside. So our first conjunction is and. The conjunction and is used to join two similar ideas or to add additional information to a sentence. In our first example, we are talking about two similar subjects, animals, dogs, and cats. These sentences say, I like dogs, I like cats. To combine these sentences, you would use the conjunction and to glue the sentences together to say, I like dogs and cats. Here you are addressing that you like two similar subjects in one sentence. You like both dogs and cats. Now let's practice more with the and conjunction with this worksheet. This worksheet has two subjects in which you are going to glue them together with the conjunction and. Our first example has two subjects, Mike, Paul. You are going to glue and in the middle to say Mike and Paul. So I'm going to give you a moment to complete this worksheet and we will see how you did shortly. Alright, so for number one, we have apple orange. To combine these two subjects, we would say apple and orange. For number two, we have cup glass. So you would say cup and glass. For number three, you have chair bed. So you would say chair and bed. Number four says pig cow. So you would say pig and cow. And for number five, cake pie. You would say cake and pie. So basically, and glues these two subjects together. And also notice that all of these two pairs are similar subjects. So for example, apple and orange are both foods. Cup and glass are both utensils and so on. Our next conjunction is but. But is used to join sentences with unlike ideas. You can also remember but when you want to contrast two different ideas. In this example, it says, he hit the ball. He dropped the bat. What we would put in between these two phrases, since we are contrasting him hitting the ball and dropping the bat, is but. So it would say, he hit the ball, but dropped the bat. And our last conjunction is or. Or is a connecting word that suggests there is only one choice. Here, or is used to give a choice of either reading or writing. So in this phrase, it says, I can read. And in this phrase, it says, I can write. And to combine the choices, you would say, I can read or write. So in our last exercise, 
you will be deciding whether each of the three sentences will have the conjunctions and, but, or. I will give you a moment to fill in the blanks on your own and I will go over the corrections in a All right, so for number one, it says, I like cooking blank baking. Here you can see we have two similar subjects, cooking and baking. So you would say, I like cooking and baking. For number two, it says, Aaron ran after the cat blank. He could not catch her. Here it looks like we are contrasting. So. Which word would we use to contrast? Well, we would say Aaron ran after the cat, but he could not catch her. And for number three, it says we can eat pizza blank hot dogs for dinner. So it looks like we are giving two choices, pizza, hot dogs. So... A choice means that you would use the conjunction or. So you would say, we can eat pizza or hot dogs for dinner. So that is the end of the lesson. I hope you understood more about the use of conjunctions and how to use them in context. And good luck, everyone.